Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for July 2021. So before we jump into July, let's recap what June was all about. Of course, we entered into June smack dab in the middle of eclipse season. We had karma really mix things up. All the cards were in the air. We had to stand back and pretty much wait and see how they were going to fall. Of course, Mercury was retrograde, making our mental planes lag like you wouldn't believe. We were confused. We were lacking clarity. Why? Because we had to rely on our intuition to show us what direction we needed to go. We had a very intense moment with Saturn squaring Uranus, really putting the pressure on reworking our social responsibilities. There was a huge awakening, really illuminating new information on the global stage that potentially will change the game from now until the fall. We had Jupiter, the beautiful energy, the planet of growth and expansion go retrograde, definitely showing us where it is that we've been too reliant on outside external sources for our truth, for our validation, for our path moving forward. Jupiter going retrograde is definitely showing us where it is we need to reconnect with our higher selves, where it is that we need to align with our own inner truth, and where it is that we need to trust that the universe has our back. Of course, Neptune went retrograde as well, really slapping the rose colored glasses off of our face. Dream states will definitely be heightened while Neptune is retrograde. This is essentially the unconscious collective, the shadow parts of each and every single one of us and humanity rising to the surface, the lies, the delusion, the corruption, the deception in order for us to turn that darkness into light. Of course, we had that full moon in Capricorn just as eclipse season ended, which definitely put a damper on things. It earthed us, it centered us, it grounded us back into a place where the heavier energies definitely took over, where negative Nancy stepped out and started screaming at us of all the reasons why we should stay in a pain cycle, why we shouldn't evolve, while we should continue to stay attached to the fears, the insecurities, the old systems, the old foundations that were essentially keeping us in a holding pattern. Last month, June definitely brought us the lesson in number six. We had to restructure our lives, starting with the mental plane, ending up in the heart space, letting those two have a conversation and align with one another. We got rid of old routines. We got rid of old relationships. We got old, rid of old ways of thinking, old ways of doing, old ways of feeling. Why? Because that eclipse season gave us a choice point. We can either remain and revolve around the same old, same old, or we can be brave. We can step up. We can cut the cord with the old, with the old patterns, with the old attachments, and move forward into unfamiliar territory, unfamiliar ground, which is super scary. But at least we're taking a chance on evolving, moving forward. So that brings us to a beautiful month on the number seven. July, of course, is the number seven. And what do we know about the number seven? Well, it's where we regain our balance. It is where we focus on our personal relationships, on our internal energy, and how it is that we share that energy with other people. We had restructuring to do that will likely carry over into this month. But this month is about experimenting. We created a space. We got rid of the old in order to invite in the new. However, although we do have a little bit of a vision on what it is that we want to invite in, we have to test the waters a little bit. We have to restore the balance within ourselves between our heart and our head. We have to have those heartfelt conversations in our personal relationships that we choose to continue to pour in and nurture. We are renewing soul contracts, renewing life lessons. And a lot of us have definitely chosen to cut the cord with the old soul contracts and see what the new contracts are starting to look like. 
So yes, we're going to be focused on relationships. We're going to be focusing on connections, connections first and foremost with the aha moments that are taking place in our perspective, in our mental plane. We are allowing now that Mercury is direct to have a very heartfelt conversation with our heart chakra. We are wide open with the feels. We are looking back. We're very nostalgic trying to piece together why certain situations had to happen. With this, we're inviting in new energy, new love, new romance, new creativity. We are bringing in new opportunities to build, to create. We are opening, essentially, our heart chakras to be destroyed. Again, the walls that we built around that sucker has definitely been protecting us, but now is blocking us from true connection, true intimacy, true joy, true pleasure, true authentic connection with oneself, with source, and with the people around us. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it and see what July actually has in store. So we're coming into July in the middle of cancer season, cancer season, very rooted in water, very much about the inner child, very much about the home and the family dynamic. Recognizing where boundaries have been tested, in some cases totally destroyed. Recognizing where it is we've been pouring into other people and becoming a little bit resentful because nobody seems to be pouring into us the way that we so easily pour into others. We are up all in the fields. Cancer season triggers us in a very hypersensitive and sentimental way. We are looking back with rose-colored glasses on. However, that particular energy of reflection is absolutely needed in order to integrate the life lessons in this present moment before we go ahead and move forward. Now, the very first day of the month, we have the last quarter moon in Aries. This is a beautiful energy for us to shut the door, slam that sucker shut, nail it shut in some cases, and really cleanse our energy, cleanse our soul with new exciting experiences. Now, this particular energy is going to help us release those heartfelt, sentimental, hypersensitive emotions and prepare for a brand new exciting month where new realities actually get to take form. Mercury is still in his shadow up until July 7th. However, we're starting to feel our mental planes come online. We're asking a lot of questions. We're in this very interesting research mode where we have to do more digging in order to find out the answers that we need in order to absolutely feel confident in the new plans that we are looking to bring to life. So there's still a little bit of clarity that's lacking, but for the most part, we're coming into this month really, really just tired of being heavily weighted, tired of being tired, tired of being sad, tired of being depressed, tired of being triggered. And for the most part, we are going to reach a breaking point where we are going to throw caution to the wind. We are going to let our hair down. We are going to have a little bit of fun because guess what? Life has gotten too serious, too boring, too heavy. And we have to bring that life force energy, that excitement back into our lives. 